coming up we continue our stay in Kep with a lovely walk through the National Park before we spent a day travelling out to a real hidden gem of a cave full of temples and shrines. We then moved on to Kampot where we spent an hour canoeing through the mangroves before going up to the Bokor National Park which was a bit of a revelation. Okay, this morning we've decided to do a bit of exercise and we're doing the loop around the National Park, which started off with a nice concrete path, but we'll see whether that lasts. It doesn't. It doesn't, apparently. Okay. okay. A lot of it might be, but there'll be bits that aren't. Anyway, we'll see. It's about 8k, we reckon, so on a hot, humid day, so we'll certainly end up there. Coffee and cocktails sounds good. That's the prize at the end. Pretty good view to start off with. Nice and quiet apart from the cicadas. So we're hoping we've got the whole trail to ourselves. The locals seem to just stop at the cafe that we just went past. Suggest we are the only ones here. The monkeys haven't been disturbed yet. And they don't seem bothered to be fair. What's he doing? He's not bothered. By us. Just curious of anything. Oh. There's more. It's alright. You can stay. We're jumping about in the trees over there, I can hear. Oh, a tiny little one. We're about five kilometres, so five eighths of the way around the, the loop, and would definitely recommend this from what we've seen so far. Nice, easy walk, all on concrete track so far. Seen one, what's a group of monkeys? Yeah. What's a group of monkeys called? <laughs> we'll have to look up the collective noun for monkeys now, as well as a pack. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, we've seen one, one big family of monkeys who were right on the track and not bothered by us at all which was which was great heard some gibbons we think we've heard gibbons we did uh, google what noise do gibbons make and it sounded right and it was at the bit that was called gibbon valley on the walk so i think we've heard gibbons and, water and a water buffalo and lots of birds and cicadas and the usual rainforest noises but yeah really really nice walk so far it's not too hot because there's lots of shade yeah. Say, it's not too bad. Yeah, and there's been a breeze, and we're doing it at what is it now? About eleven o'clock. Half eleven. Half eleven. So it's not going to get much hotter than this, and it's it's perfectly bearable. Dripping as usual, but then I drip anyway. And butterflies. Yeah. But yeah, really nice. Certainly worth doing if you come to Cap. Temple along the way. Probably an ominous sky over there as well, but. We had a right downpour yesterday, but not till a bit later, so hopefully it holds off for a while. We should get the main temple soon. There's a bit of it that you just come out onto the road for a while. But we've seen one moped in 10 minutes, so certainly not a busy road. And there's the temple. Really nice and peaceful. Lots of little statues. Yeah, nice little spot. Building going on here, but this has got to be the grandest. 
This is what it's going to look like when it's finished. Made it to the pool without rain at last. If you're in Kep, I'd recommend coffee and cocktails. We didn't quite make it for sunset. Well, the sky's still quite impressive when we got here. But the food is sensational. Cocktails are pretty good too. Cocktails are good too. So I can't even remember what it's called, what I've got, but it's um, pork with glazed rice. Pork. Glazed pork with rice, which is gorgeous. And Jan has got... Char sweet pork. Yeah, which she hasn't tried yet, but looks good. I haven't um, tried, it's very good. Okay. And both came with a little bowl of soup and some salad. And there's Jan's passion fruit martini, martini. Very good. which is very nice and very strong. And Cambodia beer. And what's even better about the Cambodia beer, when you take the ring pull off, you can win a prize. And I won a free beer. So there you go, made my day. To the Non Capong track or cave. Uh, you can see about it there. After an hour's ride on a, another very dodgy moped, we think we're now out of Pickham. We'll show you that in a minute. But yeah, I arrived at the cave and there's um, various shrines and a big temple at the entrance. Again, we'll go and have a look at that in a minute. And you can see the water down in here. Little lakey bit, Little shrine the far side, but yeah, not not the cleanest or nicest looking cave. Another little shrine just round in the next alcove, but hoping that's not it. I've driven an hour on a moped to see this; it'd be a bit disappointing. But my guide assures me there's more to be seen. Is that right? I'm braving the treacherous deep water. This cave's flooded, but it looks like there might be a bit more to see around the corner, so send out the sacrificial lamb and see if it's worth it. Okay, let's go have a look. I think just the amount of rain we've had, this wouldn't normally be flooded, but... I mean, come all the way here, it'd be a shame not to Go in and see what there is to be seen. No flooding. Okay, so through the worst of the water. Ugh. Quite refreshing. And, oh wow. Okay, it was worth fighting your way through. Declining Buddha. Buddha passed away, apparently. But look at this. It's gorgeous, like a little oasis in the middle of uh, in the middle of the mountain. Also seating areas in the middle here. Really cool. I like this. Purple land space. What's that one over there say? Brahma Mother. Over here. And there. And just lots of little shrines all the way around. But with the kind of pool of light in the middle, it's gorgeous. And this water in the middle is so warm. Yeah, okay. I'll let Jan off. It was worth an hour on the bike. Okay, this is a Fan Tusseth cave. Another ornate shrine. OK, 
Okay, this bit's called White Diamond Elephant. You probably can't see it very well because there's, there's only a couple of the lights working. But you might get a better view as we get up the other end. I guess this bit in the middle is the, the White Diamond Elephant. Which is unusual rock formation. Definitely monkey country around here. Well, this guy seems to be on his own. Playing on the electrical cables. Just going around another corner. There's another little bit. Getting a bit lower. I'm going to duck through these bits, but yeah, there's another, another little shrine. I'll find my way down. Alright, well, move you back out to the front. Not quite sure how we did that. Yeah, well, lots of offerings in this one. <laughs> that was a very nervous laugh. After a lot of giggling, we've resorted to Google Translate because gan has got a really short haircut on one side. We think he now understands. Apparently we need to change the water in the tuk-tuk. Some little coconut flavoured snacks and some. Um, what fruit is that? Dragon fruit. Dragon fruit. Really good. Just arrived at the retro guest house in Campot. Really nice. Sorry? After a very dusty ride. Yeah, a very dusty tuk tuk ride here. It's lovely. Arrived at our room at the retro guest house, so came up a few steps and a nice little outside seating area. All nicely done. Lots of fans, no aircon in this place, but lots of fans. And yeah, nice bed with a, a very necessary mosquito net, I think, because uh, there'll be lots of uh, places for bugs to get through the walls and the floor, <laughs> and there's no window in the bathroom. So yeah, yeah it'll be quite buggy, I think, and we're literally on the river as you can see. We haven't been brave enough to try the hammock yet because fall out of that and you're having a swim. And then you've got the bathroom in here. Oh, oh. yeah, so no, no, nothing in the window, but fairly basic, but everything you need. So yeah, pretty good overall. Yeah. Okay. And apparently Jan's made it into the hammock. I'd better do a little bit of filming right at the start while Jan's still paddling. Probably won't last long.
Evidence that he's lazy. Yeah. It's not just me that doesn't paddle. You've done loads of not paddling. I think our peaceful time on the river is coming to an end, looking at what's coming behind us. There's a big group coming behind us who are uh, not, not quiet, but having fun. We've just about completed the green loop. That's a nice way to spend an hour, just gently paddling around and having a look at the mangroves and the various hotels along the way and an awful lot of building work going on and some very swish places being built but yeah it's a, a nice nice way to spend a, spend an afternoon just paddling through lots of little bridges got lost once which seems daft on a loop but we managed it and then there was a gangplank across to some building work that <laughs> kindly one of the builders came and lifted up the gangplank so we could get under otherwise it was a case of trying to it was looking dodgy. We were either going to have to limbo, which I think is beyond us, or certainly beyond me, or you're going to have to climb out and over it and back into the boat, which would have been a recipe for disaster. But anyway, a kind man came and did it for us. But yeah, it's a uh... oh, couple of little birds up there as well, just sat on the side. Probably going to fly off before I zoom in. Yep. There he is. Making himself at home. Today we've come up to Bockle Mountain, got a moped from the hotel and actually got a decent one this time. It's uh, apart, from, apart from using a lot of petrol, it's been pretty good. Minor panic on the way up because we went down to empty, but luckily there was a little shop just at the top that sold petrol at an extortionate price, so filled up. But really nice drive up, probably one of the nicest drives we've had on a moped. Great views, monkeys all over the place, nice roads and pretty quiet. So really worth doing and even if you're a beginner on a moped it's a it's a nice drive to do. This is what the hotel uh, room supposedly look like um, but it doesn't look very enticing from the outside though they are obviously trying they've got all these horses and Instagram bits uh, in front of the hotel. Right up at the top above the cloud the sun's just come out and there's thunder in the distance so quite bizarre. Mm -hmm. 